Okay, so I'm going to be making some uh, fresh picadillo cristal. So I browned up some ground beef, 80-20, left some of the juice in the pan. It's not fully cooked fully, just till it's under the pink level. And uh, I left some of the uh, grease in the pan. I got about a whole onion, a half a green pepper. Okay, and that's going to be sautéing in the... Uh, Grease from the ground beef. Okay, we're going to uh, a little salt going on in there. Of course, we want to salt and pepper. You know, some of our at every level here, salt, pepper. Because I tell you what, man, they they do this on TV, and people say, "Oh, why they do this?" Well, I'll tell you what, man. When you add these layers of flavor and you put them all together, it's just truly amazing. Okay, we're going to sweat these down for a couple minutes. And get the juices rolling and add the ground beef when we're ready. So while those uh, veggies are sweating down in the pan there, I'm going to go ahead and peel me probably about two or three of these basic russet potatoes. You can change to whatever potato you like with a little more starch in them, you know, get some gold or something like that or reds. But uh, we're just going to use the basic russet potato. All right, about two or three of them. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and uh, take our potatoes and we're going to cut them into, I don't know, maybe like one inch cubes or something like that. Just going to show you. All them veggies are sweating down. We're going to get some of this prepped up. So, uh, okay. That's about that big. Okay. We're going to dice them all up like that. Fresh green beans there. Cut them in half. I already took the ends off and everything, so we're just gonna make them bite size. Okay, nice and fresh. A little bit of minced garlic, okay. Okay, and as you can see, these are getting a little translucent there. Okay, a little sweated out. We're going to take our ground beef and toss that back on the top. And what I like to do is let it, oops, I like to let it sit there for a little bit and let the meat start to cook again with the veggies on the top, on the bottom there. And of course we're going to go ahead and put some salt and pepper on the beef while it's cooking. Salt and pepper. A little bit of my homemade chili powder for some flavor. I make my own. I like to buy it. It's too hot at the store. I'll add some extra some paprika. And we'll put a little extra oregano in there. Okay, and we'll let that sit for a while. Oops, don't put it. Let that sit for a while. I'm going to put a top on it. Let it sweat down a little bit. And then stir it up and add some juice. And get this picadillo rolling. Okay, it's been steeping for a little while. Yes. We will, on top of that, we'll hit that with a little heat with some good old whoo, cayenne, baby. Just give it a little kick. Okay, stir that around. Around a little bit. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is uh, take these uh, can of stewed tomatoes. Okay, got some flavor in there, some tomato in there. I know I don't think Picadillo comes with tomato, but I'm putting stewed tomatoes in this bad boy because I like the flavor. And, uh, we're just going to give that a good chop and mix on these tomatoes. Leave them whole and go with it, man. It's going to be really. Really good. Got everything incorporated there, looking really nice. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some moisture to this um, because uh, I'm going to put potatoes in here. And potatoes are going to cook in the juice, and I'm going to put some. Uh, let me put some beef stock. That's what we're going to do here. And I want to have enough so when the potatoes absorb a lot of the juice. 
It'll be a nice thickener and we'll have some nice picadou. I'm throwing all the potatoes in there. I don't care. Come on. There we go. No loose ends. Boop. And we're going to mix that all together, okay? I might want to put a little more stock and maybe a tad more tomato sauce. Okay, got them all stirred up in there now. What I'm going to do is uh, see if I need any salt, pepper at this point. Probably not. Let me see here. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're going to cook down on that tomato -y thing. But uh, the flavor is banging. Get a nice bowl of white rice with this. And uh, we're going to let this simmer for a while. But uh, one more thing before I go. I want to make this a real hearty meal. Because there's not really a lot of vegetables in here. So what I'm going to do with those fresh cut green beans. Yeah, they're going in there. So I'm going to get these right on top. Uh, like I said, it's picadillo my way. Alright, we're just going to let them sit there like that. Put this on top. And... Keep it on simmer dimmer, and we're gonna do that for about a half hour, man. Come back. Starting to simmer. Okay, in about 30 minutes. We've been simmering, and juice has been rolling. Uh, we're gonna give a mix, okay? To Oh boy, let me tell you, it does look pretty good. Okay, we're going to give that a stir around for a little bit. Alright, we got it all nice and incorporated there. Potatoes are going to get sunk in there. They're going to cook for a little while. This is going to cook for about an hour. But what I'm going to do now, I got one more thing to put in there. Okay. What we have here is some nice granules, some pigeon peas. I'm going to drain them out, and these babies, you know it, they're going right in. And we'll stir that around, and get those in there. I mean, it's a Spanish, Cuban, Chris Alport style thing to do, man. Oops. Put the lid on it, and that's going to simmer dimmer, man. And break that meat down a little more and potatoes soak up all that juice. Beans are getting nice and soft. Ooh yeah. Half a jar. Manzanella olives. Slice them in threes. You're darn right. Putting them right in there. The salty briny is going to be really nice. I think it's part of a staple of Cuban cuisine. When you're doing ground beef dishes and stuff like that. So, I also put some of the juice from the olives right in there, and uh, it's really going to knock up the flavor on this, man. Okay, lid back on, and keep on chilling and simmer dimmering.